Bavi is moving away from Guam and the Marianas. According to National Weather Service forecaster Mike Giobro, Bavi actually split up into two parts with the upper level of the storm passing over Saipan and Tinian and the lower level passing over Guam sometime around 9 or 10 p.m. last night. The atmosphere is three-dimensional, so sometimes upper-level winds get stronger than uh, the surface winds, and that can separate the parts of the storm. So you might have the upper part going in one direction with the lower part going in the another direction. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. Tropical Storm Bavi actually split into two parts, with the top part, or higher elevation part of the storm, going north, and the lower elevation, or surface winds of the storm, going over Guam. The part of the, the storm went up with the heavier rain and showers went up towards Tinian and Saipan, but the low-level part of the storm went over Guam around 9 or 10 last night. In fact, the lower level of the storm ended up passing directly over Guam at around 9 or 10 last night. Guam ended up getting about 50 to 60 mile per hour winds, but Saipan and Tinian got about 70 mile per hour winds. Over the weekend, the NWS issued a typhoon watch before downgrading it on Sunday to a tropical storm warning. NWS forecaster Mike Giobro explains why. And now the reason why we had that uh, you know, typhoon watch out because the early indications were that it was going to be like uh, in the upper level of what tropical storm conditions would be, but, you know, it could have crossed the line a little bit, you know, so that's why there was a, you know, we had a typhoon watch out because it was just in case that it was that. So where is tropical storm Bavi now? Right now it's uh, to our west and that's about maybe 200 miles west of us and it's continuing on to go westwards. The forecast track has it going over Luzon, but, uh, I'm not certain how strong it's going to get when it gets there, probably not as strong as they usually get. Ziobro says it's rare for storms or typhoons to come through the Marianas this time of year, and he says for now the horizon is clear.